Iceland is a land of incredible contrasts. From majestic snow-covered mountains to rugged volcanic plains, this island has it all. Sitting at 66 degrees north, right on the Arctic Circle, Iceland sits on an active volcanic hotspot on the Mid-Atlantic Ridge. The largely unpopulated interior of the island is dominated by tall mountains where billions of tons of snow and ice have become trapped, forming enormous glaciers. Through gaps in the mountains, these colossal oceans of ice flow towards the sea, moving at a rate of just a few feet every year. In places, the ice is almost a mile deep. The ice appears blue as the red and yellow components of sunlight are absorbed by the solid, compressed ice, while the crystalline structure of the snow reflects all the wavelengths of light, making it appear white. In a few isolated spots, the glaciers reach the sea. In this saltwater lagoon, the ice melts, creating a sea of small icebergs that will eventually float out into the Atlantic Ocean. The lagoon makes an ideal home for colonies of seals, giving them shelter from the rough seas that pound the Icelandic coastline during the winter months. Further inland, meltwater from the glaciers forms rivers that carve deep canyons through the volcanic landscape. Gulfos, the water plunges down nearly 90 feet over two thundering waterfalls. In winter, the mist and spray from the falls freezes into strange cauliflower-like ice formations. Hundred and thirty-two thousand gallons of water pour over these falls every minute. All of the water on Iceland is cold. At Giza, water flows through cracks deep in the ground where it's heated by volcanic rocks. As the heated water boils, steam and water are forced back up through the cracks, erupting at the surface in a plume of water and steam. 
Every few minutes, the cycle repeats and the geyser erupts once again. As the sun starts to set over the steaming hot springs and day turns to night, another of Iceland's almost magical wonders appears. The solar wind, trapped by the Earth's magnetic field, gets channeled towards the Earth's poles. As the energy particles travel down through the atmosphere, they react with oxygen molecules and create a shimmering light display, the Aurora Borealis, or Northern Lights. The next stop for the elemental project will be the Great Plains of the USA, where every spring, cold Arctic air meets warm, humid air from the Gulf of Mexico. Where these air masses meet, incredible thunderstorms called supercells produce some of the most severe weather on the planet.